Well, as you become an adult, you start to hear words that are related to the financial system in the world. And one of those words is inflation. It's always been around. It was high during the 1970s. And now, a generation later, it's uh, high. And so, there's a few things you got to understand. One is, if there's deflation, it means there's destitution. There's not enough jobs. Things are cheap because people don't have the money. When there's inflation, that means there's an abundance of jobs. There's a lot of money in savings and the cost of things are higher. So don't think that one way is necessarily better than the other. Obviously, in life, extremes, extreme deflation, extreme inflation could be bad because that means many people now there's a, a big suffering. So take everything in perspective. Good to see you, uh, Balin on a live chat. Good to see you, Andre. He's in Orlando flying back to New Jersey. I remember when I would take vacations from New Jersey to Florida and then go back to New Jersey in the winter. And at that time, houses were cheaper. There was deflation, but my life was deflated. Everything is relative. So let's talk tonight about what you can control. You can go crazy blaming politicians, and I'm not saying you shouldn't base some of your decisions when it's time to vote on this. Uh, you can go crazy doing a lot of things, but let's just focus on what you can control. What you can control in life, okay, are your decisions. Everything else, guys, is insanity. The prayer of ser serenity is to focus on that which you can control. So inflation, forget about gas prices. Forget about saving money on your car insurance. That is what the very ignorant do, and I once did it. Your main expenses in life are your house, whether you buy or rent, your car, whether you lease or finance, and your children or pet. So number one, guys, if you're buying a house or if you're in the market to buy a house, you have to take it serious that house prices are very high. And one way the government controls when inflation gets out of control is they raise the interest rate. And the Federal Reserve is supposed to raise the interest rate for the first time in years in March, possibly. When the interest rate is raised, that means most people will take out a mortgage. Their payments are going to be higher. That means on average, home prices go down. So if inflation gets out of control, guys, the government can do the same thing they did in the 1970s. Interest rates could be 10, 20%. House prices will crash. So society tries to learn from the past so we don't repeat certain patterns. So I don't think they'll do that because I don't think it's in anyone's interest to crash the economy, but that can happen. So you have to remember before you go buying at the top of your price range, if you can help it, be mindful not to buy too much. It may even be wiser right now to buy some more time until you get through another year or two as supply chains are opening up, as interest rates are raising. Okay. And the other thing is car. Okay, Do you really need a car right now? Do you really need an RV right now? What do you need? Think about that. These are things you can control. Now, maybe you can't, but if you can, car, house, and children. Do you really need another child right now? we got enough kids in the world, I want to tell you, just so you know. And if you're not happy, you think a kid going to make you happy. That's not fair to the kid. Do you really need another pet? If you can't take care of yourself, can you take care of another rescue dog? Does the rescue dog have to rescue you? Yeah. Hey. Inflation. Okay. So I want to tell you tonight, guys, we can say, hey, how you doing? We can talk about this, that, but I'm not your ex-husband. I'm not your ex-wife. Okay. Never forget it. And there's a reason they're ex. And there's a reason I'm living by myself in a car. Because I don't want to deal with that shit. Never forget. Good to see you, Blaine. And so I want to tell you tonight, guys, don't fall for the banana in a tailpipe, which is rushing to purchase. Your car is not an investment. You say, oh, my car went up in value. Did you sell it? You say, my house went up in value. Did you sell it? And then what did you buy? Guys, Nothing matters till you sell and you buy something else and what your net worth is. Okay? Don't get caught in the bullshit. Okay? Because 
It's very hard to beat inflation, guys. So you got two options in life. You try to beat inflation or you take it in the ass. Now, you're going to put it in your own ass, okay, if you're buying a house you can't afford, if you're going to have a kid and you can't even afford the house and they can't afford the kid, and if you keep getting these pets, and if you get a new car, guys, this is crazy. That's the message. Will that change your life? Most people just want someone to talk to. Yeah. And I want to tell you right now, guys, I try to avoid people, I, I, but I love you and I'm grateful for this time together. But I want to tell you, somewhere there's a mother with two adult kids looking for peace. Somewhere there's someone who's been divorced, who watches romantic movies on Lifetime and Hallmark, but knows damn well they don't want the responsibility to deal with someone else. Somewhere out there is someone on SSDI with $10,000 hidden from the government. Never forget it. Someone out there is asking, how do you get your mail? But they figured out how to pass a drug test and get their prescription refilled. Hey, time to wake up, guys. Because in this world, a lot of things are inflated. And all I can do is what I can do, the best I can do. I can't control the world, guys. I'm not the Federal Reserve. Uh, do I believe in incarnation? Like, come back if you suffer, if you've made the wrong decisions? Guys, I can't control that. All I can control is what my daily routine is. And that's what I try to get you guys to do. That's the best sermon. I can say, oh, what'd you guys do last lifetime? That's why you're upset. Oh, uh, you know, you cheated on your wife. That's why Bitcoin's down. Guys, forget all that stuff. Do the best you can today and try to do the best you can tomorrow. Do you want to destroy your mental health? I mean, some of you guys are ready. I mean, guys, come on. I mean, how much is left? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to tell you right now. And you're eating too much damn pizza from... Uh, the truck stop. Your skin looks like shit. Okay. And, you know, you're talking very nasty. So, I mean, guys, try to eat some more fruits and vegetables. Stop gossiping. Okay. And be productive. You say, I'm burnt out. That's why I do nothing. Well, you're burning yourself out more by smoking cigarettes and doing drugs. Why don't you try to reverse algorithm? Because you're burning yourself out more. Don't smoke. Wake up early. Work. You'll probably re-energize re yourself. You'll be like a hybrid vehicle. When you actually break and do work, you'll actually regenerate your battery. Guys, don't give me the bullshit. Well, I'm, I'm in this world too. I mean, come on, guys. That's the message tonight. Click that thumbs up, share the video. Guys, I deflated my revenue. You should saw my revenue chart went down like this when I canceled the membership. Okay. So share this video. Let's get a viral, guys. I got to get something going. Okay. Let's go to all live chats. Never forget it. Top of the live chats. If I miss a comment, please type it again. Don't take it out of disrespect. Andre, again, great to see you. Valen, great to see you. Valen says, where are you? Valen, where are you? Give me your street address. Give me your social security number. I mean, come on, Valen. I love you. But we're not going down that route. <laughs> Andre, Fort Lauderdale first. Then, oh, you're talking about, oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. I'm sorry, Valen. You're talking about uh, Andre. <laughs> Andre, Andre gave it. Yeah, he's in Fort Lauderdale first. Then he's back to New Jersey airport. Uh, if you fly to New Jersey, try to fly to, fly to Lang City, not to Newark, because Newark's a cluster, man. Try to fly to Lang City and drive up back up north. Uh, Jonathan, you ride. Love to you. Sonny, hey, Sam, my brother. Love to you, Sonny. Good to see you. You still with the uh, Russian PYT? I uh, love to you, man. Jonathan Rivers, 100. Thank you, Sonny. AKA, I believe that's Luke, right? I uh, hope you're doing awesome. I hope the same for you and your girl, if that's you, Luke. Alan, forgive me for saying that name wrong. How you doing, everybody? Love and respect. Valen, I love you. I apologize if uh, I misunderstood you. Maybe you are around my house. What? Are you talking about Andre? <laughs> uh, Luke, Miami was awesome. Had a great time. Was great. Enjoy all cool spots. That's cool. Miami is a little bit too congested for me, but I've been there. Valen pets. Yeah, Valen's got three pets and an ex-husband. <laughs> I want to tell you right now, guys. Uh, and Valen is happily divorced. So there's a reason for the divorce. And three kids, it's a zoo over there, guys. Once you got, I want to tell you right now, because my mom got three dogs. I love my mom. I love dogs. But once you get three dogs, they run in a pack. And it's like, guys, you can get the dog whisperer. You can get your ex-husband over. You can get everyone. Guys, it's a, it's a zoo. So there's no way you're doing self-care with three rescue dogs. I mean, it's a disaster. But I love you, Valen, and I respect you. Uh, but you know, 
after one of these dogs pass, or if you can't handle them, you got to have to find a place to give one away. And you got to work on self-care because I love you. Uh, now you say, shut up. That's why I'm divorced. I said, well, that's why I'm single. Never forget it. Yeah. Uh, how? My man Sam loved you, man. Shout out to Brooklyn. 3.1 miles run and making my meal prep. That's how you beat inflation. You say inspirational nomad. I'm going to buy a home base so I could cook at home. Well, one is after you add the gas to get that food, after you add the utility bill to cook it, after you add all the silverware to prepare it, after you add the time that you spend, <laughs> don't buy a house, eat out every day, okay? And you you still make out ahead. So don't go buy the house so you can cook at home, all right, guys? <laughs> Be careful. All right, let's stay positive tonight. Yeah, meal prep, good job. For the rest of the week, self-care and love. Yeah, I feel love tonight. How was your day? Overall positive day, brother. Thank you for asking. Uh, Sonny, it's Luke. Yeah, Luke, I remember you, man. Shout out to you and your PYT. That's my man, Blanton. North Carolina, come on and stand up. Shout out to Petey Pablo. But I believe Blanton moved to the destitute South Carolina. Why? Because he needed to get his money back and start this new job. And he did that about a year ago. He's getting experience. Very smart guy. Very nice guy. And now his future's bright. Why? Because he was willing to sacrifice. Love and respect everyone in South Carolina. And Blanton's a star. Blanton, it's near impossible to beat inflation. Here we go. From last year, not a fan or hater of Biden, but I'm shocked more Biden voters haven't come out in harsh criticism. Well, remember when, remember a year ago when Biden took over, there was, <laughs> they almost overthrew the Capitol. <laughs> so guys, even with high inflation, we're doing better than we were a year ago. So that's like the mindset. Now, if inflation's still here in uh, 2024, then Biden me voted out. But remember, last year, guys, we were on the verge of civil war. This year, your house, your house is worth 30% more. I mean, you know, take your pick. <laughs> Jonathan, I'd be, I'd be feeling the same way, bro. I don't like to be around others. Love and respect. Uh, Luke, congrats on all the subs, man. Thank you. Even though subs are not revenue, my revenue went crashing after I canceled the memberships. But when times of inflation, I deflate it, and it's a long-term trajectory, and we go from there. Uh, congrats on, thank you. Way to always show up. Show, if you don't show up, you don't get money. And if you don't get money, guys, you got to live with someone else. And when you live with someone else, <laughs> yeah, you're going to see they nice online and they a, they a bastard to live with. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They nice as fuck online, <laughs> but in their house, they're the damn devil. Yep. <laughs> and I want to tell you guys, I'm all right with that. <laughs> yep. Pat Go, what's up? Upper Peninsula's in the building. Pat Go was living a dream. Okay, down in Arizona, she's in a relationship. She had to go back up to the godforsaken uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Why? Her husband had to get surgery. Now, did, did, was she happy about that? Well, she's a good person, but I want—I I guarantee you, if the Lord took her husband in that surgery, she would she wouldn't be upset. She like, I'm, oh, I'm going back down to Arizona, and I got some inheritance. Yeah, that's how. Well, let's stay positive. Hey, Sam. Another snowstorm. Yeah. Well, I tell you, good thing you ain't performing that surgery. Uh, another storm storm on the way. Need to bring the brass monkey in tonight. Well, I just tell you, don't waste death on your husband too much. <laughs> Jonathan laughing good. You're funny, bro. Hey, laughter's good for the soul. Thank you, Jonathan. Charles, my man. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Keep showing up. I see your CAD videos. I see your videos all the time. Shout out to you. Miss shot. Hey, Miss shot. Hey, Sam. In Tampa, shout out to Tampa, one of the fastest, fastest growing areas in Florida. I read that today. Maybe I'll do a video about that. Even though I'm an East Coast guy, love and respect to the West Coast. Do you pay the tolls in Florida or avoid them? Well, I'm mainly around the East Coast. So if you if you hug the East Coast, there's not too many tolls. You get tolls when you travel from the East Coast to the West Coast or if you travel on the Florida Turnpike. I don't travel on the Turnpike and I very rarely travel across coast. But I do have the Sun Pass, and once in a while, I, I pay the toll. Sun Pass is like Easy Pass. So hopefully that answers your question. Shout out to you, Misha. Pat, go. My thug name is Iceberg. <laughs> yeah, I want to tell you, love and respect. Adam, what's up, man? Good evening, Sam. Hopefully your Tuesday evening is going good. It is. How's yours, brother? Andy, what's up, Andy? Hello, Sam. How are you? Overall positive day. How are you? This week, two of my employees got COVID. Sorry to hear that. They're on a five-day waiting list. So I'm working all day. Sorry to hear that, but uh, love and respect to you and uh, fast recovery to your uh, workers and much love to you for your uh, efforts. Uh, Jonathan, uh, I love 
you too, bro. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you for being real. Just doing the best I can. Thank you, Jonathan. Love and respect. Elizabeth, 1001. You are so brilliant. I thank God for the grace of God. Do the best I can, even though I fail. You could write a book. I already did. Not too many people want to buy a book. Very few people even want to pay for memberships. Such a good, healthy advice. Yeah, most people don't take it. They're going to take uh, alcohol with their prescription pills. They don't listen They don't listen to their doctor. You think they're going to listen to me? <laughs> hey, hey, Elizabeth, I've been around. All I can tell you is <laughs> don't make YouTube your main job. And if you're going to be a doctor, <laughs> you better hurry up and make this money because the government cracking on on fentanyl and all type of shit. I want to tell you right now, ain't no one listening to anyone. It's a damn free fall out here. Jonathan, you ride, bro. I do the best I can. Cartoon Mark fire, brother. Cartoon Mark, you're in the depths of hell right now, man. I want to tell you, when you're in hell, keep walking and don't take anyone up to heaven with you. Why? Because <laughs> they drug you down to hell. I want to tell you right now. Blaine, truth, fire. People be thinking they rich when Tesla goes up. Did they sell? Nope, not rich. Hey, I've been there. Like I said, I lost uh, probably if I added all the years up, 300K in the market. So I don't judge, but I speak on it. You got to mitigate your risk. How do you do that? Main job, number one, got to keep an income. Savings count, 25K in a savings count. Little to no debt. Uh, unless you're very rich and you're going to leverage debt off a uh, separate business and then go bankrupt if you go crazy. Uh, and don't risk more than 30% of your net worth in risky investments. If you And keep a side job that you're passionate about. And manage your daily routine so that no matter what happens with your money, you made the most of your day. If you do all those things, that's the best shot you got. If you get a little bit lucky, great. But remember, guys, Elon Musk is a billionaire. He's been divorced three times, and he lives in a portable box that he leases out from Tesla for a tax write-off, and he doesn't want to be responsible for anything. He's a total psychopath, even if we go to Mars, guys. Remember, there's no Walmart in Mars. Does anyone want to go to Mars? No, no one wants to work on Earth. If no one wants to work on Earth, who wants to work on Mars? No one. <laughs> guys, no one wants to go to Mars. Back go. Folks in England like to say, God save the queen. Well, yeah, I hear that. I want to tell you this. Uh, never date a girl that has drama queen associated with her name. That's all I know. Sonny, a.k.a. Luke. Yes, me and the PYT are still rocking together. Well, God bless you both. Jonathan, that good, really good. Thank you, Luke, my man. Appreciate the good words. few years back with the family, accepting them for who they are. Can't change people. Letting them go. Got to have boundaries or let them go if they destroy your mental health and physical health. Learn to find happy compromise. Do the best you can, but yet still respecting boundaries. Well, if you can find peace, great. If you can't, protect the borders and you got to have uh, some biological weapon. No, just uh, Luke, you gave me good words. Thank you. I appreciate that. Anything I, I did good from the Lord and sometimes we curse the Lord. Thank you. Jonathan, laughing good. Cartoon Mark. Is Sam on caffeine just at Starbucks or Florida vitamin D? Both. I get vitamin D every day. And a lot of people, guys... But remember, guys, even when I lived up north, what I do, I walked every day, got my life together, got my life together before, before I came to Florida. So that's how I tell you guys do. Good job. And I show up even when I'm not all charged up. So I show up on the good days and the bad days. Good job. Pat, word on the street is Indiana and Michigan have affordable housing. <laughs> yeah. And word on the street is no one wants to live there. That's why. Never forget it. Jonathan. And please always be happy with the way you are, bro. Thank you. And never stop being you. Thank you, Jonathan, for the positive encouragement. I truly appreciate that. Thank you, Jonathan. Pat, go. The Michigan sky is so solid white this time of year. <laughs> yeah, that seems pale. You got pale women uh, uh, and a white sky. It's a disaster in Michigan, let's be honest, but love and respect. Blanton, yes, I'm the destitute in South Carolina. Love and respect. I got some good friends in South Carolina. No disrespect, but, you know. But it's good because money goes further. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, look, I can say into the projects. Yeah. You want your money to go far? I'll give you a couple street addresses you can go to. Uh, thank you. Never forget, don't trade your quality of life for living in a cheap-ass area. Yeah. So just be careful, guys. Good job, Lynn. Stacey, what's up, Stacey? Hey, Sam. You're on fire. Thank you, Stacey. Stacy living amongst, <laughs> Stacy living, <laughs> uh, yea, though I walk <laughs> through the shadow of death, <laughs> I shall fear no evil. I want to thank you, Lord. <laughs> Luke, my man, the Starbucks South Florida magical. I want to tell you guys, a couple baristas on the side never hurt no one. Okay, I'm single for life. Valent, thumbs up. Thank you, Valent. Love to you. Luke, when I was there this past week, loved the views with the palm trees. Hey, guys, you got two options, palm trees or pine trees. You choose. Luke. Sitting outside and enjoying the vibe. Good vibes only. Blanton. At Char oh at Charles. 
I love your channel. Charles doing great. Thank you for the encouragement, Blanton. Johnson's laughing good. Good for the soul. All right, guys and girls, I got 38 people watching. No one really does anything I say. And my revenue's down, but I showed up anyway. I didn't bitch and moan. I gave value. I give more value than a Dollar Tree. I give more value than most of your investments. But all I can do is focus on self-care and share out of the abundance of that. Why? Because if I don't take care of myself, guys, who's going to take care of me? <laughs> Remember, most people don't take care of themselves. Now, again, thank God for everyone who helped me throughout my life. You don't do anything in life without help. You need friends, family, and people to give you opportunity. And I've had those things. But there's when, there's a level of your journey. You got to walk alone. Never forget it. Uh, Gregory, took the beard down. Yeah, had to. why did I trim the beard? I like the long beard. Two reasons. One is when it gets too long, there's too much dirt that can build up. So you ever date a chick, she's going to cut her hair because she's going to need a healthy. Now, as you date a girl, her hair is going to get shorter and it's not going to be good. But the good news is you do have to trim down the beard once in a while for hygiene. Okay. Why? Because guys, you got two options in life. You can take care of yourself well, or you can eat pizza from the truck stop and do drama videos. <laughs> guys, I'm going to take care of myself well, guys. All right. I'm not doing that. I mean, I mean let's stay positive because you know life is bad when your pizza looks better than you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when you're doing a video of your pizza, not you. Hey, guys, look, <laughs> I want to tell you, take care of yourself. All right. <laughs> Don't listen to these people lead you astray. Uh, God bless. Dividend bro. What do you think will happen when most of the middle class can't afford a house due to inflation? Well, hey, what do you think will happen when there's so many jobs, not enough people want to work? If they're not working, I don't want to hear shit, okay? And so I want to look at someone's actual daily routine before I determine if they're destitute or if they're about bullshit. So I always say, guys, don't believe everything that people bitch and moan about because most people even in here that complain about things, they got excess and they're living with dysfunction. And then they blame Biden or they blame whoever. And I'm not saying there isn't blame to go around, but I'm saying I want to see what people do in their daily routine. Then I'll do Judge Judy. Then I'll, dis then I'll discern if the middle class is getting crushed or if the middle class is crushing themselves through laziness, substance abuse, bad relationships, and bullshit. Never forget it. Pat Goat, when I would put a sweater on my old chihuahua, the wiggle out of it. He wouldn't allow me to dress them. Yeah, guys, dogs don't want to wear outfits. But when you get someone who can't date someone else and is mentally ill, they put outfits on their dog. Why? Guys, they're mentally ill. I mean, that's a, I mean, you know what you want. I mean, you want them to make sense? Guys, this is the world we live in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love that puzzle. Valen, I love your beard. Well, I appreciate that, Valen. Love and respect. Boston. Hey, everyone. Hope all is well. Love and respect. I saw your video this morning. I got another fire one coming tomorrow. <laughs> These motherfuckers stop showing up. I'll take their spot. <laughs> About waking up early and it helped me stay motivated. Good job. Remember, motivation is like a shower. If you don't do it every day, nothing gets done. And a lot of people don't take a shower every day <laughs> and they get motivated. Then they go take a nap. So be careful. Uh, throughout the day. Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan, some are like that. Some are. Uh, Frankie, thank you for all the positive comments. Click that thumbs up. Guys, what, we got 22? Let's do it. Uh, share the video, guys. We got to get this channel viral, guys. We got to. Why? My views have got to increase, guys. Revenue down with the membership canceled. So share this video with everyone who dresses their dog and doesn't go to work and takes a nap. There's a lot of people doing that. Let this video go viral, guys. Share, share, share the video. Good job. Suitcase, what's up, brother? Howdy, Sam. Doing some self-care by treating myself to a nice dinner. You work hard and join the fruit of your labor. God bless you, suitcase. Jonathan, laughing good. Back go. I wake up two to three times almost every day. What? It's about bedtime for me now. Back go. It's a disaster up there, man. I pray for you and your husband. <laughs> Valen, no shower today. There we go, guys. I love you, Valen. Thank you for being honest. Daniel, what's up, brother? Have not heard of anyone moving to Mars. <laughs> I want to tell you, they ain't got enough workers on Earth. You think they're going to get workers on Mars? They ain't no paved roads. <laughs> yeah. Guys, believe me. You don't want to go to Mars, guys. <laughs> Only Arnold in the movie Total Recall. Guys, I want to tell you right now, <laughs> you guys can barely handle a first world country. <laughs> you, you damn sure can't handle a third world planet. All right? <laughs> Charlie, what's up, man? 
Charlie, self-care professor. I do the best I can. Don't call anyone teacher. Don't call anyone professor other than large professor. Why? Because, guys, this world, it is what it is, guys. Just do the best you can. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, Tech, what's up, man? Good to see you, Tech. Uh, Luke, what do you feel is the best amount for retirement? One or two million. Well, look, guys, most people never going to get one or two million without working for 30 years or getting an inheritance. So what I tell the average person to do is get $10,000 in a savings account, keep a job, pick up a side job they love, manage their daily routine. If you can get up to 25K in a savings account, awesome. Uh, above that, look, if you already have one or two million, you don't need to tell me, you don't need me to tell you what to do. You don't need a Dave Ramsey financial advisor because you're already good, okay? Bury, you know, put 250K in a savings account that's FDIC assured, never touch it, even with high inflation, you're not gonna be destitute, okay? You gotta really do some crazy shit. So most people, guys, I mean, guys, it's a disaster. So there's not much really financial advice I could give. All I can tell you guys, manage your time, make the most of your day, put a certain amount of savings, don't touch it, uh, manage your debt unless you're very much in a higher upper launch where you're going to create LLCs and leverage debt and et cetera, et cetera. And just do the, you know, manage your day, take care of yourself. That'll keep busy the rest of your life. Good job. Uh, if, if, you know, once we get to elite status, we'll talk about what you do when you get to millions, but that's not, it's like a waste of time to talk about that right now, but I understand your, your dilemma. Uh, uh, but you're okay. We don't, you know, like, you know, you know, we, we got it. Uh, I love you. Uh, Luke riding like Steve Winhall said in a song, when life is too much, just roll with it, baby. Yeah. Just get through each day. I agree with that. Thank you. Riding high tech. You are a good man. Well, no one's truly good. Like Jesus said. But I thank you for the positive, encouraging comment. I don't look that, I don't take that for granted. And I appreciate that encouragement. Thank you. Suitcase, hope everyone's having a nice evening. Thank you, Suitcase, for that positive comment. Pat, I completed basic hygiene today. <laughs> Pat, good job. That's why I shaved the beard. Got to keep that hygiene up. Sonny, I was thinking one to two million by the time you hit 65. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be uh, a goal. Look, I'd like to get a million by the time I get 50. Uh... I'm 41 before you this year. Will that happen? We'll see. Uh, but at the end of the day, each day, whether I have a million or whatever, I'm living my structured daily routine. I'm taking care of my responsibilities, taking care of my physical and mental health, and I'm doing things I'm passionate about, and I'm doing things I don't want to do, discipline. So if I get a million, two million, three million or above, it's cherry on the top. Same thing with home base. If I don't, I go back to the basics. Main job, side job I'm passionate about, manage my time so I don't let the, the days slip past me, take care of my health, healthy relationships. That's the best life I can live. And then if I die, I'm preaching a good message of self-care, self-control. I'm not eating pizza, uh, you know, basically gossiping and slandering other people. Okay? I'm preaching a good message of self-care. I mean, I now who gets offended by that? A lot of people get offended by that. And I want to tell you, these people are not nice people. They talk like they're nice. They're fucking devils. Okay. But I don't lock heads with the devil. I, I, I Believe me, guys, when a, when a bat comes flying out of hell, this is what you do. You back up, you let that motherfucker fly right back to hell because he's going to go back. Okay. But I, I, don't, I don't lock heads with bats because I know where they're going. I know where they came from, and I know where they're going. Okay? Now, you know, I'm always ready, but I tell you, I, back, I let these motherfuckers go. So, uh, suitcase. Uh, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, suitcase, be like Bigfoot. The social distancing world champ. Yep. I, I navigate around people is the best thing I can tell you. Good job. Uh, uh, forgive me for saying his name wrong. Butchin. Uh, good energy tonight. Thank you. Doing the best I can. Hashtag band life. Thank you. Sonny, aka Luke. What do you feel the average retiree has in savings? Uh, let me Google it so I don't just go off my feeling. Then I'll say what I feel. What does the average American... have in savings at retirement. All right, so Google says in 2021, the average 401k balance was 130,000, okay? Now, that means that's half the population because that just says the average 401k balance. Half the population doesn't have a 401k. So half the population, 130k in savings is what they have, well, let's say 40%. 40% of people have 130K. 
There's probably 10 or 20% that have above that. So what are we up now? 60%. So the other 40%, social security is their primary source of income, which is a thousand to $1,500 per month. And they maybe got five to 10 grand, maybe 15 grand in savings account. So 30 to 40% of society is living on about a thousand to $1,500 per month with maybe 10 grand in savings. Another 40% of society is sitting on about 130 K plus social security at the end of the day. And then there's 20% left that are above that. And there's obviously some within that 20% are way above that, but that kind of gives you the breakdown of basic economics. Okay. Uh, and most people testify that's hundred percent fact. Good job. Uh, good question. Tech wise man in the car. Yeah. Someone left a comment last night. I blocked them. Why? Well, because they said, yeah, you're, you're, you're smart. You're giving a good message, but how can I take it serious when you're in a car? Well, one is if, if you cannot take a good message, no matter who's delivering it, where they're delivering it from, you're not a good person. <laughs> so why don't you go back to your emotional dependency and go watch a guy with a suit and a tie with a fake backdrop from Zoom tell you about how to buy real estate, okay, and how to live a great life. Chances are, guys, if you cannot get a message and forget about what you see in the background or who's delivering it, then you're never going to do anything in life. So I don't care about you. <laughs> I mean, what you want me to do? I'm not your service dog and I'm damn sure not your uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Shit. I want to tell you, I, as soon as I see someone acting up, I say, oh, dude, they're gone. Because I want to tell you right now, guys, I ain't got time for that. I, I try to treat people right. Don't don't give me the bullshit. Uh, where are we at? Uh, Tom, what's up, brother? Shout out to you and your wife. Uh, shout out to all the Puerto Rican girls out there. Uh, Tom and Janet in the house. Shout out to you and Janet. Shout out to the PR. A lot of rich people I know getting a home base in, in, in uh, PR. Why? Because it's a big tax haven right now. Okay. And um, you don't have to give up your citizenship because it's still part of uh, U.S. territory. So it's a big, it's like, it's like the old school Connecticut. Like back in the day, a lot of hedge firms would home base in Connecticut. Now, PR, believe it or not. They don't really live there, but you know that's a tax statement. Alan, how is your home situation going, Sam? Low inventory, but more is coming up. And if the Federal Reserve, I have an option to do right now. I love the location and the community. I'm not in love with the lot. It's a little bit higher than I want, but still below my means. But I, in one sense, I, I would like to wait a little bit longer to see how things turn out with more inventory coming on market, interest rates going up, and the markets evening out. That's a risk, but single, no pets, no kids, I don't have to rush. I have a little bit more luxury. Um, but I'm definitely doing campgrounds more. I'm reserving campgrounds for next winter just in case I don't buy a home base. And I'm trying to slowly but surely definitely eliminate stealthing as much as I can. Uh, good question. I'll keep you updated. Gregory, less than 50K. Well, we broke down the numbers. Thank you for the comment. Jonathan, I think we brothers, we think too much alike. Thank you for the positive comments. Dog, what's up, man? Shout out to the Pacific Northwest. In three years, I may be back to zero. It'll happen. But just remember, live life one day at a time. Manage your day. Do the best you can. Luke, I tell you, love Starbucks. Yeah, I'd rather have Starbucks than make my own coffee at home. You say, why don't you get a home base? You can save money on Starbucks. <laughs> why don't I not get a home base so I can eat Starbucks every day? <laughs> yeah, never forget it. But if I get a home base, I'm still doing Starbucks every day. Why? Are you Guys, you can make, uh, what, what, what's my, my, my yellow can coffee, uh, the, the Bocito or whatever? Guys, you can make the, the Spanish coffee and shit at home. It's not the same, man. I tried it. You know, unless you're going to date an authentic Puerto Rican chick or something like that. But even if you're going to date her, guys, <laughs> you're still cheaper going to Starbucks. Nah, hell no. I want to tell you guys, don't buy a home base if you can't afford to eat out every day. I'm going to do a whole live feed on that. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the Trenta Ice Water. You can't beat this ice water, guys. This is the number one triple filter. Oh, yeah, let's take out Drisha. Luke, shout out to you, man. Doug, 130K. I'd feel rich. I want to tell you, Doug, I understand. I've been there. And what I want to tell you is when you get 130K, 
then you're going to say, all right, I want a home base. And then in time, whether inflation or not inflation, 130 K, what are you going to do? You're going to put a deposit down and depending on what the average house is 350. So then you're going to buy a car. Then you may get a pet. Your 130 ain't going to be much. So it all depends your perspective, but I totally get it because when you're at zero guys, one, I remember when I was like, damn, I got to get 1000 in savings. Okay. And then I remember I got to get 10,000. So I understand it. So all I can tell you is manage your day, work, don't risk too much. You're going to lose most of your money trying to make more money and you'll figure the rest out. Good job. Suitcase. They've got extended stays here for four fifty a week. Four fifty a week. How much is that a month? Well, nine hundred for every two months. That's eighteen hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Oh, you just broke that down. That's actually cheap because it's about a hundred dollars a night for a hotel here. That's three thousand dollars a month. But is that a trap house hotel uh, suitcase? Where are you at again? You in D.C.? This. Be careful. There's some bad spots in D.C. I've been in D.C. Uh, that's eighteen hundred a month, bro. Yeah, be be careful with those extended stays because those are usually in bad neighborhoods. Now, I'd rather put that towards debt. Yep, and and you got less. I want to tell you guys, look, I, even when you're staying in a nice hotel, nice area, if you have a place to park that's not crazy, it's more comfortable to sleep in your vehicle unless you got some type of disability, and it, it's uh yeah, it could work. So I totally get that. Yeah, rather put the 18 towards uh, debt, savings, et cetera, investments. I agree. All said, um, only sleeping. Yeah, look, guys, you sleep eight to 10 hours a day. For most people, it'll work. I mean, you've been on the road now, suitcase. You, you live in your van. You work construction. So, you know, uh, yeah, you, you don't need much. I totally get it. Pat, go. I'm a mouth breather, but I don't care. Be careful. Breathing through your nose is healthier. Why? Because you have hair in your nostrils. That filters the dirty air. When you breathe through your mouth, you don't have that filter. So you're breathing in all the germs and you're not filtering it out. So you want to at least be conscious that when you can, try to practice breathing through your nose and out through your mouth so that you eliminate some of the toxins. When you breathe through your mouth, you're just breathing in toxins with no filter. Be careful. That's science, guys. Look it up. Luke, cool. Thanks for the facts. Love to you. Good question. Jonathan, so you so right, bro. Thank you. Uh, Mulvano, what's up, man? Shout out to you. You can generally draw 4% off your IRA and not touch the principal. 1 million will give you 40K a year for life on top of your SSI. Thank you for the breakdown, Mulvano. He did very well for himself. Retired military, uh, and he invested wisely. Shout out to you. Doug, focus on what you can control. Keep you busy the rest of your life. Ancient wisdom from 2,000 years ago, still good advice, <laughs> and they still ain't listening 2,000 years later, and they ain't going to listen on Mars either, so don't even worry about it. <laughs> Luke, you still wanting the Prius? Nah. Why? Because, guys, if I could turn my car on right now and run the air conditioning, that doesn't get me $30,000 worth of quality of life. Uh, if I can save 20, 20 30 gallons per mile that I have to own that car for seven years for it to be a return on investment. I'm not going to buy a used car. Why? Used cars are just as much now and it's not wisdom. So you got to be very cautious on how you allocate money. You only get so many chances to spend more than $5,000. So if you're going to wait, if you have a reliable vehicle, don't buy any vehicle. And if you're going to buy a vehicle, wait till they have a hybrid plug-in. Okay, but don't even do that just because. I still want to decide, do I want to do home base or RV? A car right now, just because it's hybrid or electric, doesn't get me enough value for me in my personal situation for me to justify the asset allocation. So that's kind of the breakdown of my thought process at this point. Now, if again, if God forbid I need a car or more, then I reevaluate that. But that's kind of my thought at this point. Uh... Uh, Luke, oh my God, so true at home office. Home coffee is never the same as Starbucks. Nope. I want to tell you, and thank you uh, for that person that, I forgot who it was, uh, uh, the woman who um, PayPal'd me when I was in a hotel, uh, the hotel, when I was drinking a Bocita. Uh, 
I was like, yeah, let me try to make coffee at home again. And I tried, but it just, shit just wasn't the same. Uh, and I can't, I can't lie to myself, guys. I can't be in that type of relationship. Uh, Paco, yeah, what Starbucks secret? Uh, they got $1,000 coffee machines. They have a, a full service staff. They have steam soy machines. They have proprietary soy milk that you can't buy in a store. They have beans that come from uh, one of the best areas in the world. Uh, and everything is fresh. And they got triple filtered water. And what do you have at your house? A $30 coffee maker machine that you bought from Walmart with some little ass white paper fin filter and some damn chlorine tinted water that you get from the sink <laughs> and your creamer that you buy off the shelf in Publix <laughs> and a mug that's got some saying on it that doesn't even inspire you. And then you look at that coffee and you look at your house and you look at your life and you say, what the fuck am I doing? Let me see what Inspirational Nomad is doing because he's drinking a good coffee. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's me. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know how to say the name. Forgive me. Pluto. Hi. I keep watching you every now and then. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Doug. How coffee is too much work? Starbucks for the win. Doug, you figured out life. <laughs> yeah, Doug. You figured out life. Uh, Jonathan, I live in my car and save so much. Shout out to you, Boston. I set my alarm to remind me to go sleep at 11.15. If you have to set your alarm, your daily routine is not structured. And wake up at 7.15. Love to you, though. Respect to you. That helps me keep self-aware. Well, I respect that. And how much I sleep I get. I respect it. I usually only oversleep when I'm depressed. Well... I want to tell you guys, I'm going to do a short video on this. I'll do a short video a different time. I'm glad, I'm glad that you're self-aware and you're trying to, most people sleep too much, not the opposite. And you got to manage your time. So I'm glad that you're aware of it. Congratulations. Pusha. I am 39, struggled entire life. I want, I was a scientist, but I guess life's supposed to broke this way. Well, you're only giving me one side of your story. I got no idea your whole story. I, I probably never will. So all I heard, though, was a lot of negativity. You probably also had a lot of opportunity, and you probably also made some bad decisions. You probably also got some bad breaks. But if you look close enough in your life, there's probably a better evaluation than that one-sentence pity part you gave me. So Palusha, I mean, come on. You come in here once, and this is what you say? I love you. Dividend broke. Sam. What is your ideal housing living situation and what would you be willing to pay for it? Ideally, RV lot by the beach. Would we'll like to get it for 150K, but probably won't. So under 200K uh, with a southern exposure to the sun. But there's something similar to that. And I am still drawn a little bit to countryside with a little bit more homey feeling. So, but yeah, I guess if I have to say, I don't, I really want just the RV lot, so I'm just buying the concrete pad with utilities. I, I guess I should just get this damn RV lot because, and I gotta have, I gotta have a gated community, guys. I mean, why? Because the psychopaths, guys. I gotta have the gates. I gotta have the security guard, the cameras. Uh, probably. That, I'm just sharing off the top of my head. That's kind of what I feel. Uh, but it's not an easy choice, dividend bro. Good question. But RV lot. What? Bottom line. This is a good question, dividend bro. No single family house for me. Uh, I don't want acres. I want an RV lot. Uh, or yeah, I don't want to take care of property. Cause I, I, I got an option for about 130 K mobile home with no HOA, not far from the beach, but the neighborhood is, is actually pretty good, but I'm just not inspired by it. Uh, the best, and I don't feel safe, secure, and this is it. So you know, look, to get the gated community with the security guard and the cameras, you got to have an HOA. If you don't have that, then, you know, then you got to, you know, have a little bit more home security. And, you know, look, guys, you know, if, if most people are not worried about this. I'm kind of, I, I got to think about it. So, but look, if I'm going to live somewhere, guys, number one thing I need to feel is safe, secure, 
okay, and good location. Because that's the, you know, you buy the community, you don't buy the property. I could go buy some property, you know, that's out there or in a suspect area right now. But it's like, guys, I, that doesn't inspire me. I mean, I want to be able to know that I, you cannot eliminate risk, but I want to mitigate risk. Now, I'm not, guys, look, I, I parked anywhere. I parked anywhere. Right? I mean, I'm doing, I'm living, I'm out here in society. But I'm just saying, like, if I decide to commit to a property, the community has got to be locked down, okay? We got to have some rules to keep down the petty shit, okay, or the, you know, crazy shit. And, or else for me, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm also well stay in the streets. I mean, you know, fuck. You know, so I got to, you know, we got to lock some shit down if I'm going to commit some capital. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going from the gas station to a community where fucking everything goes. I mean, I already know what happens when everything goes. So I got to pay a fee. So we'll see. I got to figure it out yet. Uh, pollution, struggling merely for food and shelter. No, you're not. Why? Because there's subsidized housing. There's EBT cards okay. and there's plentiful jobs and you figured out how to make a profile and you can write coherent sentences. And if you were a scientist, you got enough, uh, you got enough background, enough intelligence to do something. So pollution, I respect you. I don't say this out of disrespect, but you're disrespecting yourself and you're disrespecting common intelligence of me and everyone in this live chat. If you're struggling for food, you're not giving any effort. You're giving more effort to type your sentences in here or you're trolling me to get me upset. Either way, your time is limited here. Why? Because guys, I, I, I'm trying to take care of myself and do the best I can. I, I, I can't take care of other people. So uh, guys, free chat, but I'm not a free therapist. Never forget it, guys. Save that shit for a therapist, guys. Love and respect. No disrespect. Infinity, what's up, Sam? What's up? Shout out to you, man. Hope you're having a good night. Overall positive. Thank you. Push up. Had been planning on buying a car to live in, but eventually couldn't. I got no idea your entire story. This is uh, like getting to a big thing now. Come on. I got enough family people I know about this stuff. I don't need this stuff. Uh, Gregory, I'm sold. Going to Starbucks ASAP. Shout out to you, Gregory. Doug, in bed by 9 p.m., up by 4 a.m. Doug, you on my schedule, brother. I ain't mad at you. Jonathan, but it's hard because I am only 26. I lost my mom and my dad. All I do is pray. Keep praying. Well, love and respect. Uh, I understand. Look, at 26, guys, I was working two jobs at one company uh, and going to church uh, every weekend trying to get my life together and get into healthy relationships. So, uh, look, I feel bad for your situation. I have empathy. But all I can tell you is you got to work and you got to get a support group because I can't tell you anything else that I did that's going to help you. So I respect it, but sitting at home crying about it is only going to make you sadder. And if you do nothing, only going to make you broker. Again, I totally empathize. Losing your parents is horrible. Uh, but all I can tell you is there's only so much you can do. And now you got to move forward uh, and pray that the Lord keeps you at peace as best you can. I love you. Boston, thank you for being glad I'm self-aware, love. Respect. That's why I'm here, man. Well, I appreciate that. I only want to do better. I appreciate that. I'm not saying I'm perfect. None of us are. Thank you, suitcase. I can buy a bag of Starbucks here, but ain't going ain't gonna to be the same. Yeah, you could buy it for five dollars, but it ain't gonna be the same because you don't have the thousand uh, dollar coffee maker, you don't have the thousand dollar steamer, and you don't have the proprietary soy milk. So, but let's continue. I carry a filter with my mug and, and just use hot water. Oh hell no! At the gas station, yeah, I respect you, uh, suitcase, but you know that coffee now is good, cheaper than a large. Yeah, it's cheaper, but I want to tell you, in my opinion, it's not better. I love you, uh, suitcase, Jonathan. Suitcase gas money. You ride that $5 bag. Nah, uh, I, I, it's not the same, but I understand it. Jonathan, you ride, bro. Boston, at Gregory. I made that choice to go Starbucks last week and been three times ever since. Yep. Uh, IDCN. Do you still believe in NoFab? Never did. Never preached it. I masturbate every day. There was a season of my life where I did feel like masturbation was wrong. Uh, too much church and theology. And then I found out my pastor's fucking someone else. And then I found out, look, guys, everyone's having kids and they don't even want their kids. So all I can tell you is this, guys. Your body is a machine, respiratory system, circulatory system, reproductive system. You have to flush your system. Okay. So masturbation is good. Mentally ill people do no fab, but mentally ill people also don't work. So if you believe in no fab and you got no job, you're loco. All right, let's stay positive. Yeah, that's right. Take away your thumbs up. And get a job and get the fuck off the internet. Never forget it. Uh, Jonathan, I've been doing the same thing, bro. Keeping it real. 
Katie, hey, new viewer from the UK. Shout out to the UK. Boston, at Gregory, try that bacon guta sandwich. Jonathan's laughing good. All right, guys. I love you, Adi Sen. Thank you for understanding. Love and respect you. Guys and girls, I love you. Got to do the best I can. Been on here for an hour, guys. This is great value. Free chat, guys. I mean, Dollar Tree ain't giving you this shit. But I understand. It's never enough, guys. I go free, people bitch. <laughs> I charge people bitch. Okay? What can you do? <laughs> you do the best you can. So, remember, though, don't let people manipulate you. Okay, why? Because these people ain't taking care of yourself, they, themselves. They can't take care of you. Never forget it. Uh, Boston's laughing good. I told people this was fun. Thank you, Sam. Well, thank you. you guys, share the video. We need more people who ain't working. There's a lot that are doing no fab to do something with their time. Tell them, watch this video. That's right. Because we got to go viral, guys. There's mass people not working. Tell them to come on here, man, and, and click everything, guys. But, you know, as much as they can, click, click, share, share. Shit, they ain't got nothing else to do. So, I'll see you next video.